There is also help at hand from Council, who send out environmental health officers to assist food safety supervisors in their roles. The main kind of assistance that I would offer, offer the food safety supervisor in the business is to help them undertake their role, and that role being maintaining proper records, and also in directing staff to implement things like the cleaning schedule, and helping them monitor issues such as pest control and general food safety issues. Basically being on a twice a year visit that I've had dealings with them where they evaluate the business, where we update, where we can improve. They And I, I, I've got to say, and I say that in all aspects, that it's constructive criticism rather than destructive criticism. Um, and I think that's what's important about it. We're all on a learning curve and um, the more you learn about it, the better it is. They come in, they check our diaries to make sure that they're filled out and they're filled out accurately. They'll get the thermometer and they'll check if the food is actually on the right temperature. Uh, then they'll go to our storerooms and check that everything's laid out in the correct order and the way it's where it should be. And then they'll check all our fridges, check the cleanliness and anything that they might think might be inappropriate. Uh, they'll go to our storerooms and check that everything's off the floor and making sure that everything's in working order. If everything's okay, they still let send us a letter and making sure that we know that everything was okay and that our store was at food safety level. The relationship that I would have with a food safety supervisor is positive and it's at its most positive when the person undertaking the role does it with confidence and commitment and it's also an opportunity for them to show their good work and get a little bit of gratitude and praise from myself for doing great work.